Stewart with it. Stewart in the middle of the floor. Stewart against Walters. We're tied at 47. Now to Johnny Melvin. Bounces right wing Rivera, who has not scored today. And yet the Miners are tied with the Jayhawks. Rivera in the middle of the floor. Just over five minutes left in regulation time. We're tied at 47. 20 left on the shot clock. Rivera now to Stewart near midcourt. Bounces to Rivera left wing. Baseline to Davis. Comes to the hole. Reverse layup. Won't go, but a foul. And Ralph Davis will go to the line for two. He missed a rather easy shot. That first step of Ralph's is so quick. Like we mentioned, he is such a fine athlete, such a fine athlete that he's so quick down there low on the baseline. The foul to Woodbury is his first. That's the seventh Kansas team foul. Miners will be in the bonus the rest of the way. The Big 600 KROD wishes to thank America West Airlines, the official airline sponsor of UTEP basketball, America West Airlines, the more you fly, the more we make sense as Ralph Davis hits the first one in his first trip to the line today. He's got five points off the bench. Miners retake the lead. Exactly five minutes left in regulation time. Davis next shot. He made them both. The Miners lead by two, playing without David Van Dyke, who fouled out a half minute ago. 49-47 out front. Scott has it. Right wing side, Woodbury. Woodbury, cross court, left wing Jordan, and he bounces to Walters, in low, turning and shooting is Jamison, it won't go, rebound, tipped right side, taken by Rivera, and he bounces to Prince Stewart, the Miners by two have it, 4.35 left in regulation time, Stewart in the middle of the floor against Walters, starts toward the top of the key and comes back to midcourt. Stewart still dribbling in the midcourt area. Walters not challenging. Stewart's going to shoot a three out front. Walters got a piece of it. Davis rebounds. Scores! And he's fouled! What a great job by Ralph D Davis there. Just outstanding. But wasn't even going to draw iron, and he was there to pick up the rebound, throw it down, and catch the foul. A chance for three the old-fashioned way. Alonzo Jamison has just picked up his fourth personal foul. 4.19 left in regulation time. The Miners have a four-point lead. Trying for the upset of the NCAA tournament. That is the eighth Kansas team foul. Ralph Davis, the youngster, trying for a three-point play. And he doesn't get it. He missed the foul shot. Melvin with a rebound, and he'll bring it back out front. Miners will run some more time off the clock. 4.10 left in regulation time. Rivera has it in the middle of the floor. Comes down the middle. Left baseline to Davis and back to Rivera on the wing. In low, a near steal. It comes to Maxi and he's tied up. On the alternate possession, the Miners will get it back. Rivera probably tried to be a little too cute there. Yeah, I would think so. Just a bit there, Diddy. Just stay within your game. Play the way you're capable of playing and don't worry about being so cute. Miners will inbound. Baseline to the right of the goal. Stewart will do the honors. Stewart brings in right corner to Johnny Melvin. Johnny Melvin, body checked by Woodbury. Melvin starts toward the baseline, comes back out, has picked up his dribble, bounces down the middle to Stewart. He throws one up on the run, he missed. Rebound, score! Ralph Davis! Now they turn it over! The Miners have it! Eddie Rivera, three and a half minutes left to go. The Miners lead by six. Melvin to Eddie Rivera. Miners with a new shot clock, cross court to Stewart. Stewart, Daddy Rivera at the 10-second line. The Miners lead by six. Less than three and a half minutes left in regulation time. Rivera has it. He fires above the foul line. Oh. He's got it! Finally, he's able to hit. Finally, Eddie Rivera put one down. First field goal, first points of the game. The Miners are eight up. Left side, Walters, baseline. He had it knocked away and out of bounds by Stewart. And we've got a timeout on the floor. Three minutes, seven seconds left in regulation time. It's the Miners 55 and Kansas 47. Miners are going to put on a little full court pressure of their own. Kansas, by the way, has possession. I'm sorry, it's in Kansas attacking zone. Scott with it. Scott out front. Now to Jordan. Comes right side. Bounces in low under to Jamison, and he scores. He got away from Ralph Davis. They ran a good play out of the timeout. Jamison now with six. 
55-49, less than three minutes left in regulation time. Rivera with it. Rivera's pass is tipped away. It's going to be stolen. Walters with it. Walters down the middle. Walters all the way. Had it knocked away by Melvin. It comes left side to Jordan. Out front to Woodbury. He shoots a three, and he's got it. Just Timeout, like Kansas. So the Miners got a little careless, turned it over, and it's now a three-point ball game. Certainly not for Kansas. They're still very much in it. All right, we're ready to go. And Johnny Melvin will inbound. And he bounces into Eddie Rivera. Rivera is going to be double teamed and trapped in the backcourt to Melvin. And the Miners going to be able to get it over. Now to Stewart. Stewart's front court pass to Rivera. Three on one. Rivera is going to bring it out to Melvin. Melvin is being held by Jordan. Now comes down the middle all the way. Lays it up and scores. It'll count. And Melvin will be whistled for a personal foul. But the basket counts for Johnny Melvin, who's had a magnificent day. He's got 14 points. That is his third foul. And it is the eighth minor team foul, which means we'll go the other way to shoot free throws. Boy, he just took it to the lane, put it up and in. And, yeah, he did commit the foul, folks, but he still was able to get the basket. Richard Scott is going to be the one to go to the foul line. Remember, he's only 37.5%, but today he is 3 out of 4. 2.18 left in regulation time. The Miners' lead is 5. Richard Scott right-hands it on the way, and he got it, earning the bonus. So the young sophomore has really stepped up today. He's hit 4 of 5 from the line and well under 50% for the year. You have to wonder why. <laughs> Well, this is when it counts right here. This is when it counts. 57-53. And still 57-53. Missed the second one. Maxie with a rebound. And outlets to Prince Stewart. So it's still a four-point game. Miners are going to use some shot clock now. Prince Stewart comes to midcourt into the attacking zone. Stewart comes around Walters. Down the middle. Throws it right side. Davis didn't get it. Then it's knocked out of bounds. Last touch by the Miners. It's going to go to Kansas. The easiest thing was Ralph Davis just taking his eye off the ball. If he hadn't taken his eye off the ball, it had been right in his hands. Now, I don't know why Ralph wasn't expecting it, but here come the Jayhawks nonetheless. Right wing side, Walters has it. Walters looks for Woodbury. Can't find him. Out front to Scott. Left wing, Jamison. Jamison above the foul line. Here's Woodbury's jumper. He missed the shot. Rebound taken by Stewart, and he's fouled. It's going to go to Woodbury. Woodbury has his second. That is the ninth Kansas team foul. That means that the next one will send the Miners to the line for two with every violation as Pauly, who's been on the bench since the 13 second mark of the second half with four fouls comes back in. And I remember too, he's a fine defensive player that will definitely challenge Marlon Maxey in the paint down low near the end of this ball game. The veteran Prince Stewart goes to the line for a one and one. First trip to the line today, only 68% on the year, but of course now is all that counts. Uh -oh. 148 left in regulation time. Stewart right hands it on the way, dead center, and he earns the bonus with his eighth point of the game. Don't forget the Coors Dry Locker Room report and minor talk following <laughs> the game. Stewart has one more, 58-53. Crowd quiet. Stewart's foul shot. No good. Rebound taken by Pauly. So he made one of the two. It's a five-point game. Jordan has it. Jordan comes toward the right wing. Out front to Pauly. Left wing side, Woodbury. Woodbury lobs under for Pauly alone, and he scores as Maxie was totally lost. Pauly has six in the game, 58-55. Stewart with it in backcourt. Minute and a half left to go. Stewart reaches the attacking zone. Stewart has used up his dribble. Bounces to Johnny Melvin. Johnny Melvin at midcourt to Stewart. Left wing Rivera. Eddie Rivera comes toward the middle of the floor. Eddie Rivera bounces right side to Stewart. Stewart still has it. Cross court left wing to Melvin. We've got 20 left on the shot clock. Left wing side Rivera. Rivera comes toward the head of the key. Rivera's used up his dribble to Maxi. One minute left in regulation time. Johnny Melvin has it. Johnny Melvin with seven left on the shot clock. Right side, stops, jackknifes it up and oh! scores! What a shot by Melvin! 60-55, to 55, left side Walters with an open three. And he missed it! 